Hey guys, Javano here with my fourth video in my Minecraft for Dummies series. Uh, for some reason, my computer decides to be a laggy little piece of crap today, so um, the video's going to be a bit choppier than normal, but I figured, hey, I'm sure you guys would rather a slightly laggy video than over no video at all. So here it is. I'm going to be teaching you about OR gates and NOR gates which are extremely similar, which is why I'm grouping them in the same video, and they have the majority of the same name. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. There are two main kinds of OR gates. Here, actually, uh, I'll, I'll define an OR gate for you first. An OR gate is the output will be true or on when any of the inputs are on. So one of them could be on and the rest could be off, and the output will still be on, even if all three are on. The output will still be on. As long as one of them is on, the output's on. So, um, first one is the most common and extremely simple. Bam. Like that. <laughs> this is the output here. I'll make it one longer just so you can see. As long as one of the inputs is on, the output's on. Now, this is good enough for the majority of cases, but sometimes this can cause problems. So, um, because, say, if you have a torch here, it'll flow back here, and for most situations it'll be fine, but some of them it can actually cause problems, and you'll need to use this one that I'm building for you right now. This is the second, it's a little bit more complex, but not by much, or gate. And, bam, there you go. So, er, no, sorry. That's a NOR gate. There, rather. Like that. So, you see this is this is the output here. I'll put a redstone here just so you can see better. There, output's off because none of the inputs are on. As soon as I put one on, the output's on. So, I'll show you with all of them. On. Off. On. Off. Like that. And um, assuming you watched my video about not gates, I can, if you haven't already figured out how it works, this right here is a not gate. And you, from here to here, from here to here, or from here to here, they're all not gates. And then that merges into one, which leads to a second not gate right here. If you remember, having a redstone over a hanging torch is also a not gate. So basically, it's saying when this is on, this torch will be off because it's a not gate, and this torch is or this not gate saying when this torch is off, this torch will be on. So since this is on, this is off, and since this is off, this is on, and ditto with all the others here. So um, yeah, that's basically the two main kinds of OR gates. Now I'll get to the NOR gates. NOR gates are basically just OR gates, only they have the effect of a NOT gate. So for an OR gate, or an OR gate, it would be when any of the inputs are on, the output's off. But as long as all of them are off, the input's on, or the output's on. So I'll uh, show you. This is actually, it's basically the other one we did minus a NOT gate, which makes sense if you know how they work, like that. So since all the inputs are off, the output's on. But since it's the opposite of an OR gate, as soon as we put any of these on, this will go off. So like that, see? Off, on, off, on, and off. Like that. And again, it's because of a NOT gate. This, if you just ignore the two other inputs, it's just a NOT gate because it's redstone leading to a block that has a hanging torch, which is a NOT gate. So it's saying that when this is off, this will be on. And since when this is on, that'll be off. It's just three NOT gates kind of combined together. And now, but um, as you can see, you can only th fit three inputs here. As soon as you start putting more stuff, get screwed up. So this is definitely the best NOR gate to use. But if you um, 
for some reason need four inputs. You need to use one that's a hell of a lot more complex, but I'll show you how that works. See, a lot more complex. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, it looks a bit different than the last ones we played with, but works just the same. See, if you need four inputs, uh, input one, two, three, and four. And yeah, it, it can't really handle five inputs without combining any of these trails together which actually makes another OR, if you, pay, if you notice, makes another OR gate if you combine any two trails together. But this is the only, like, uh, NOR gates can't handle more than four inputs, so if you got more than that, you got to do something about it. But see here, on, off, on, off, on, off, and on. Oh, if you can see the reflection kind of changing there now chances are you're wondering how this works well down here we've got just the regular nor one because we got input one two three just going to that singular block with the torch hanging off of it how this one works is the trail starts over here goes up here just goes along here and ends up being a not gate it's the exact same as just say doing this Same thing. So, exact same idea. So it's not that complex when you break it down, it just looks kind of different. And the reason these blocks are just kind of here, they may seem superfluous, but um, you take them away, start screwing things up. These start climbing up here. And if you do that, yeah, it still works, but see, notice how this is flowing back here and all the way around there and stuff. It does the same thing. It's, it's the same reason this can cause problems. It's just there's nothing limiting it from flowing backwards and doing some other crazy stuff. But um, yeah, for ORs and NORs, that's about it. Next video, I will be doing ANDs and NANDs. So look forward to that. For now, see us.